Hello, lover bag. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Would you believe it? 2023, huh? Time flies. This is my first video for this year. And I hope you like my last week's video, my Christmas get together with my friends and family. So this time, I would like to show you what I purchased for Christmas. I treated myself with another luxury items, but this time, this is, um, a free love watch i didn't purchase it new it's a free love watch like i said to you guys some of the free love items there is actually value for money so you don't necessarily need to buy a brand new items huh so this is from a company called longine so history 1832 it was founded by august agassi in switzerland it's a luxury um swiss brand and the fun fact about them is it's been used in three of the james bond film one of those is skyfall and uh, unless you are one of those literally very good in uh, spotting an eye for watches then you will easily miss it so let me show you i am ever so excited with this purchase as per usual, it doesn't come anymore with their proper packaging, but everything is complete. It's literally brand new. I think it's only been used a couple of times or something. So it comes with this really huge box. The usual, I was saying to you, any luxury items, they always have this kind of effect, like as if it's a drawer, isn't it? So let me take it out. So it comes with all their manual, other bits and pieces underneath. I'm not going to take that anymore. And this is the actual box. Let me open it. Ta-da! There you have it. Isn't this cute? This is silver and black, a combination of both. It's really, really good. This is extremely value for money because I practically paid half of the retail price of this watch. And the good thing as well, the owner, I should say the previous owner of this watch, um, we have the same risk. She's very, she has a small risk like me. Let me try that one. So I don't even need to adjust the link. It's already been adjusted for me. What do you think? Do you guys um, love what I purchased for Christmas? See how tiny my wrist. That is beautiful, isn't it? I love this watch. It is um, an everyday watch. Cute, isn't it? It's one of the watch that you kind of like, like I said, an everyday watch that you're not really going to bother. Oh my God, what if I scratch it? What if I lose it? Or something like that. Don't get me wrong. It is a luxury item as well. It is a luxury watch. So if you ever lose it or scratch it, obviously it's still going to break my heart. But it's not one of those like really Rolex or Cartier that if it scratches, you kind of like, oh, MG. This one even though it's luxury watch as well it's on a quite reasonable price luxury so what do you think guys i hope you uh liked it and enjoy this watch and then another purchase that i treated myself is this one you'll probably be surprised why i purchased this oh probably not it's from mcm most of you guys know how i loved the MCM brand. I didn't intend to purchase this as I was going around the city center. This was on display and I thought, oh, okay, let me check that one out. What is that? Have a look. It is an MCM perfume. I didn't even realize that they do perfume. Maybe as a, I don't know, a one-off thing or not, but look how cute. And dainty it is so once you finish the perfume this could be used as a bug charm so it is like two for one and they also comes with let me take it out it's quite hard to get it out actually so let me pop it up there you go this really literally a 
a pocket perfume that you can put it in your in your bag if you're not carrying this it is quite heavy the smell is very simple let's just spray the smell actually hmm it's not very citrusy it's not quite very yeah it's a com it's the combination between a it's refreshing the smell is very refreshing actually this could be a very nice uh, summer holiday perfume so what do you think guys my two items that i've purchased have been very good this christmas and i'd like to say thank you to all the people that gave me to all my friends that gave me some presents a little presents so i definitely enjoy that there you have it guys also on top of that i just realized i haven't um posted a video of my uh, christmas decoration this year so at the end of this video i will add a short video of my christmas decoration so i hope you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you will be informed as to when i post another video and share and like with your friends and please 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 consider subscribing so our little lover bag family will grow in 2023 so as i always remember it is bye for now and keep smiling bye guys happy new year again hello guys i just realized i haven't shown you my christmas decoration this year so let me just quickly show it to you before i head off to my what i've got for christmas so this is my christmas tree this year and the theme is gold and silver and this big nutcracker is my additional deco this year And now, have a look at my Christmas table decoration. Look, this is very simple. It's just a Christmas scene runner. And I put a candle on each side, put a wreath in the middle, and I added this gorgeous lantern with a twist. So normally, it has a candle in the middle but this time this is the middle and they light up believe you me it's gorgeous when they light up and even the wreath around it actually light up so it's very simple and yet it's quite very festive
Okay, now let me show you my Christmas decoration of this lovely bear me to you collection. This time I've actually added a non Christmas me to you figurine. So I think it kind of like blended a little bit. So let me show you guys in detail. Look how gorgeous. And this time, I've actually, if you remember my decoration from last year, this Christmas tree is actually my table decoration last year. So I moved them around, which is quite very good. I think nowadays you have to be very creative with your decoration and make the most of what you've got look at the detail of that isn't it gorgeous and on top of that i have a few flower china miniature collection i shouldn't say miniature collection because i only had like about four of this so i added that and this time i added this nativity miniature from a lacy so look how gorgeous it is i think it kind of like blend i had my usual nativity scene so i didn't use that this year so i've added this and put it in the middle of my me to you christmas decor and i think it kind of like work what do you think guys comment down below if you have a christmas decoration that you collect to the year so as time goes by, I just keep adding and adding and adding. I don't know when am I going to stop. Like my friend collecting that Lego from my last week video. So look how gorgeous this. This Christmas tree, I bought it from the charity shop. It's actually a vintage ceramic and it is so cute. And they have like this little garland pom-poms on it that reminds me of a marshmallow and yeah and this one i only paid five pounds for this isn't this a bargain there you have it that's what i said you can incorporate the non uh christmas decor for this santa stop here and look at this it says merry christmas most of this collection are very playful, hence I absolutely love this Me To You collection.